Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. Underground Masada A team of archaeologists from Tel Aviv University began excavations at an unexplored part of a desert mountain fortress in 2017. The fortress is called Masada, and it was once a grand palace built by Herod the Great, although it's more famous for the tragic deaths of 960 Jewish rebels in 74 AD. When the Romans came to Israel to slaughter the Jewish people, rebels escaped to Masada in hopes of surviving. But when the Romans began marching to the fortress to take them as prisoners or kill them, all 960 rebels and their families jumped off the edge of the cliff in a last act of defiance. What the researchers were interested in was a mysterious underground structure. The structure was originally detected as early as 1924 during an aerial survey of the site, but it's never been physically explored. No one knows what the mysterious structure was used for, although experts believe it may have been a hiding spot for the rebels during the siege. But here is where things get really mysterious. The team from the university announced that they would be exploring the subterranean structure in 2017. That was five years ago. Since then, we haven't heard a peep from them. We have to assume the excavations have already wrapped up, and yet they haven't announced a single thing. We don't know what they found down there, and the underground structure is still a mystery. Number 9. Balancanche Near the ancient Maya city of Chichen Itza, there is a dark and mysterious cave called Balancanche. The sacred cave was once used for mysterious rituals. It was an extremely important place to the Maya people for hundreds of years, up until their entire civilization collapsed. To understand why this cave was so important, we need to look at the belief system of the Maya. They believed the universe was divided into three major parts. There's the sky, the earth, and the underworld. For the Maya people, the underworld was accessible through certain caves that functioned as magical gateways. These gateways were deep underground and could allow for travel into the realm known as Shibalba, ruled by the Maya death gods and their helpers. One of these caves was Balancanche, about 1.2 miles of passages through hard limestone rock. 1,000 years ago, the water table was about 18 feet lower than it is now, meaning the Maya would have ventured far deeper into the system than anyone can today. This was such an important place that the Maya built structures all around the entrance of the cave, although they were sadly demolished sometime during the 1950s and used as road fill. In ancient times, the creepy cave was connected directly to Chichen Itza via a paved road, another indication that it was extremely important. Number 8. The Death Valley Secret City There might just be a secret subterranean city hiding underneath the salt flats of Death Valley. The average temperature in Death Valley is typically over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, while water is a thing of fantasy and vegetation is scarce. It really is a valley of death, a place where a person could easily die from dehydration if they wander too long and too far. And yet underneath California's Great Valley of Salt is supposedly an underground city. Its roots can be found in Native American lore, with the legend of Shin Ao Av. The Paiute legend says that Shin Ao Av was an underground city accessible through a labyrinth of underground tunnels beneath Death Valley. To reach this place, one needed to embark on a perilous journey to cross into the spirit lands, where thousands of dead people all lived happily in a great and shining city. It sounds like nonsense, and yet there could be some truth to it. There probably isn't a city of dead souls, but there may be a physical city constructed by a lost civilization. In 1931, physician Bruce Russell and his friend, Dr. Daniel Bovey, allegedly discovered a maze of catacombs in Death Valley while sinking a mine shaft. They told everyone about the ruins they found under the valley, but unfortunately, they could never locate the entrance again. They were laughed at and called fools, and supposedly spent the rest of their lives desperately trying to relocate the city. To this day, nobody has ever been able to find the alleged hole leading down to the ruins of Shin Ao Av. Number 7. The Pilsen Historical Underground The Pilsen Historical Underground is one of the largest networks of underground tunnels in Europe, originally dug out in the 13th century. Construction on these tunnels continued for an unfathomable 600 years. 
only coming to an end in the 19th century. The original purpose was for storage. The city of Pilsen in Czechia needed a place to store their goods underground, and over the years, the tunnels were used to transport water and sewage. If the name Pilsen sounds familiar, that's because it's the birthplace of Pilsner beer. People in the city began carving cellars up to three stories deep underneath their houses in the 13th century. They used these cellars for storing food and supplies, and a whole lot of tasty beer. As more and more of the underground storage facilities were built, tunnels started to be carved connecting them. Over time, it grew into a huge network, one that was used for moving sewage around. By the 19th century, Pilsen had 12 miles of subterranean passages underneath their streets. But it was right around the time the tunnels stopped being carved that they also stopped being used. They were abruptly abandoned, and many of them have since collapsed. Some sections of the underground are now tourist attractions. Many of them are filled with hidden artifacts from the Middle Ages, so you just never know what you might find down there. And now for number six. But first, I want to give a big shout out to Bea B and Daniel Griffin. Thanks so much for watching and supporting Origins Explained. If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the family. We'd love to have you. Number six, the Grail Crypt. Amateur archaeologist Barry John Bauer is convinced that a secret crypt is hidden underneath West London. He believes the subterranean chamber houses the legendary Holy Grail, the very cup Jesus Christ drank from at the Last Supper. The Holy Grail has been the most coveted Christian artifact for 2,000 years. Barry John believes that when he finds it, it will be the greatest discovery in archaeological history. But just how in the world did Barry John reach this conclusion? For years, he's been trying to track the Grail through its links to the legendary Knights Templar. He believes that many of the Knights Templar trained at a secret facility in England, in what is now Hounslow Heath. Before they went on expeditions to the Holy Land, this was where they trained their fiercest knights. He believes they also built a secret crypt to hide some of the most important relics brought back from the Crusades. They hid the relics here because their more famous bases in Jerusalem and France were not secure. Finally, Barry John believes the entrance was covered deliberately near the man-made Duke of Northumberland's River. Unfortunately, he has yet to find any physical evidence. But Barry John Bauer is still convinced and is hoping to dig up the grail any day now. Do you think that he could be right? Let me know in the comments below. Number 5. Secret Malta Tunnels The city of Valletta is a beautiful example of ancient European architecture. This city is a grid of shining golden towers, ancient flagstones, public squares that have been around for centuries, and grand palaces. But underneath the splendor of the city's streets is a secret subterranean world, one that's been kept out of view of visitors for decades. Throughout Malta's history, the island has been occupied by just about everyone. It was a strategic center for the Crusaders. It was occupied by the Ottomans and was taken over briefly by the British Empire. Because of its position between the East and West Mediterranean, it's always been a coveted spot by those in power. Even Napoleon was there. In 1530, the Knights Hospitaller arrived on the island and built a fortified capital. This was after the Knights had failed to keep their capitals in Jerusalem and Rhodes. They'd been kicked out of both their old cities by the Ottomans and desperately wanted to hold on to the island of Malta. But the Ottomans were coming for them, and so they started digging tunnels underneath their fortress at the tip of what is today Valletta. But so too did the Ottoman invaders. And every once in a while, one side would break into the other's tunnels and fight brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat in the darkness. It was almost like trench warfare in World War I, except underground. This bizarre subterranean combat went on for nearly four months and ultimately allowed the Knights to maintain control over the island. In 1566, 12 massive cisterns were built to support the citizens in case of another attack. The tunnels were fortified, and a whole network of underground battle stations were dug to prevent invasion. By the time the British took control of Malta in the middle of the 19th century, there was one of the biggest subterranean networks in the world hiding underneath the streets of Valletta. But by that time, they weren't useful anymore and fell into disrepair. Number 4. Emperor Nero's Secret Chamber 
A mysterious underground chamber was found underneath the ancient palace of one of the most infamous emperors in Roman history. The chamber was uncovered while archaeologists were doing restorations at the Domus Aurea, once occupied by the nefarious Emperor Nero. The room was found mostly filled with dirt and rubble, but still in remarkable condition. Researchers found the walls to be covered in amazing artworks of mythical creatures, everything from sphinxes to satyrs and even centaurs. The experts are calling it the Sphinx Room and believe it was built following the Great Fire of Rome that took place in 64 AD. Emperor Nero lived in the Domus Aurea after much of Rome burnt to the ground and many citizens were left homeless. The palace had 300 rooms and took up over 300 acres. This mysterious underground chamber was covered in drawings of sea creatures, warriors, and mythical birds. It looks like it was built about four years before Nero died and shows just how lavishly the hated emperor lived. However, researchers aren't sure what the room may have been used for. What we do know is that the Domus Aurea was torn to the ground by angry Romans following the death of Nero. The Romans were still devastated by the fire, and they saw the emperor's grand estate as a slap in the face. Number 3. Secret Teotihuacan Tunnel A secret tunnel was discovered in Mexico, one that scientists are saying might solve some mysteries of Teotihuacan. The discovery dates back to the fall of 2003, when a heavy rainstorm bludgeoned the ancient pyramids and other ruins at the pre-Aztec city outside Mexico City. Much of the archaeological site was flooded, sweeping away dirt and debris in a devastating torrent. But after the storm had cleared, archaeologist Sergio Gomez arrived to discover that a sinkhole had opened near the Temple of the Plumed Serpent, one of the most famous temples at the site. Sergio didn't realize it at the time, but he was staring into the entrance of a lost underground tunnel no one had seen in centuries. When he really started to investigate, it became clear he had a major discovery on his hands. It looked as though the tunnel led directly to an undiscovered subterranean chamber underneath the heart of the temple. If his theory proved correct, Sergio was looking at the biggest discovery of his career. Many months went by, then years. The team couldn't simply start carving out the tunnel because they could damage the site. They had to create digital maps and scan the earth. They learned that the tunnel goes approximately 330 feet down to the center of the temple. They also learned that the tunnel had been intentionally sealed with huge boulders and covered up 2,000 years ago. Whatever was hiding beneath the temple was meant to be hidden forever. Sergio is still trying to reach the mysterious chamber at the end of the tunnel. He and his team have already found countless artifacts, obsidian knives, a sculpture of a jaguar, some corn from 1800 years ago, and much more. But because they are digging with toothbrushes so as to not miss anything, they won't reach the secret chamber at the bottom for some time. Number 2. The Oldest Mosque Archaeologists have just detected a mysterious hidden feature of an old Visigothic city in Spain. They think they may have found one of the oldest mosques in Europe buried underground. Researchers haven't done any digging, but instead used geomagnetic instruments to reveal walls and the remains of structures buried beneath Recopolis. This is a rural area outside the city of Madrid, originally a powerful place founded 1400 years ago by the Visigoths who helped end the Roman Empire. Medieval historian Michael McCormick says he and his team found buried buildings, streets, and mysterious passages at every single place they surveyed. The only issue is that they can't just start digging up the streets where people live. Recopolis was founded by King Leovigild of the Visigoths in 578. This city prospered up until the Islamic conquest of 711, when this city was destroyed. It was briefly occupied by its destroyers, then abandoned around the year 800. Because Recropolis was one of the first places conquered by Islamic warriors, it was one of the first places in Europe to have a mosque. Researchers believe that they have found that mosque. They identified a building with a very different orientation from all the rest, with its entrance facing Mecca. The building's floor plan looks a lot like mosques from the Middle East. If correct, this could be the oldest mosque in Europe. Number 1. The Theopetra Cave The Theopetra Cave is home to one of the oldest artificial structures in the world. 
It may even be the oldest structure ever crafted by human hands. It dates back to around the extinction of the Neanderthals, when prehistoric humans lived in caves across Europe. Theopetra Cave is located near Meteora in Greece, and it was inhabited about 130,000 years ago. Archaeologists have found evidence of continuous human habitation inside the cave, ending only about 6,000 years ago. In other words, both Neanderthals and Homo sapiens lived in the cave for a whopping 125,000 years. The two different species likely shared the cave at some point like prehistoric roommates. All kinds of amazing discoveries have been made within the dark confines of the cavern. Skeletons from 15,000 years ago, traces of plants and seeds, and most interesting of all, a stone wall. Scientists were able to date the wall to 23,000 years old. They did this by using an approach of dating known as optically stimulated luminescence. It was made to block off part of the entrance. Nobody knows exactly what it was used for, but it's believed it could have been intended to keep out the cold. This is now the oldest evidence in Greece of a human-made structure, and potentially one of the oldest stone walls ever made by intelligent life forms on Earth. Thanks for watching! Would you ever live in an underground lair like people from ancient times? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time! Bye!